Uh, if you can raise your hand to let us know you ask a question, we'll set an embargo towards the end for 10.30 on Sunday evening. Phil, you look keen. Phil. Yeah, um, notice you said to, uh, to Sky Sports, a great game to learn from as a manager, and that you praised Russell Martin and what you can learn from him. Is that Completely. genuine? That, no, just from a, a layman's way, you know, with all you've done in the game, and Russell obviously still being a lot younger and newer, to management, you're still learning from him after games like that. Absolutely. Uh, I, I'm, I'm a big believer for the, the process to the build up. I prefer that my players get the ball to the feet, not to the teeth. And, and when that's happened, is because they make an incredible process. So we were not sloppy, we were not flat, and we were struggling to regain the ball, but they were really, really good. And I'm, first of all, I'm a spectator. I want to see the opponent doing the things that I like to do with my team, and they do it really well in the struggle. So I just make a compliment, and, and, and I'm pretty sure I will learn. Some movement they have done, the reason why they do it, and it's not difficult because they, they make a movement to make, create a space to link to the striker, and they put over players and outside to bring you there. And it's not, not easy, but saying that, we create enough chances to, to win to win better. Uh, but I like to win in that way. That proves the last two games against Wolves and, and Southampton that right now, just right now and in the bottom of the league, and look how difficult it was. So I think when the people say now in, in the Premier League every team can beat everyone, yeah that is the truth. So every game is a battle, it's so difficult and, and, and the same. Uh, I, I'm not any regret, any complaint about my team in because when the open is good, you have to accept it, and and this is what happened. Um, how, how, how difficult is it as a young manager? You you started obviously, you had to be brave. You were different with your tactics. How difficult is it to stick with that, even if some people outside doubt it, and maybe sometimes results don't quite go. Yeah, because the people doubt doubt because they because they don't. They don't get results, not because they don't bel they, they believe what they, they are doing. So the people judge results, not judge intentions, or judge what they want to do. But the same guys, the same guys three months ago was an incredible compliment because we was promoted for the championship to the Premier League. And he's the same guy and the same principles. And of course, he's young and pretty sure he'll improve what he sees and the, the development will yeah. happen. But what a spectator I like to see what, what what they do and I don't know what's going to happen. So it's not I'm not concerned but I am saying that what they do, I appreciate it and I like it. Hi Pep. Um Southampton had more of the ball in the first half. Can you remember a team that wanted the ball against you as much as them here at the Etihad? And do you think that their performance will convince other teams that this is actually the best way way of playing against you to try yeah, and but they are war behind it. It's not about, oh, guys, have the ball and pass the ball. No, no. There are war behind that. And the movement's in the right moment, the right tempo, and why you move in this space and the other one, why you do this, why you do that. First of all, you have to believe it. And what I had the feeling that at one point you come to Etihad Stadium and playing that way is when you're a big believer. Incredible big believer about wh what you are doing. And this is, a, I said yesterday in the press conference, for me, the managers, the, the good ones is when they have an idea and they fight for that. Because the results can maybe get confused. And when you don't have results, you want to change, and when you change, not even guaranteed it's going to, to get better. And I'm pretty sure they believe in that, they want to do it, and, 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 and that's why. If it was more possession, because they were good. If we weren't, Erling didn't run, or Mateus, or Savio, or Phil, or Bernie, or Kova, we run incredible today. We don't like that. But it's not because we were bad, it's because they were good. And when that's happened, it's just to accept it and learn. When I said learn, because when I watch the game, I go, oh, in that movement, look, what do happen this and that? What do you do this and do that? And maybe in the future, like, we can use it. Because as a manager in my career, 40, 50 years, I learned a lot of my opponents and managers, a lot. What they do and, oh, that is a good idea. Why you don't apply it with the players that we have, with the time we have? And this is going to happen. Jamie. Hi, Pat. You've got 23 points. You're unbeaten this season. Uh, Liverpool play Arsenal tomorrow. Um, you're two ahead of Liverpool. 
how do you does it does it matter that you're at the top at the moment? Do you care about that? And will you watch the game tomorrow? I I will watch it. I prefer to be in top than not be in top, but it's not it's not a point. It's just look what happened today. Stone Villa drop points and Brighton drop points because it's so difficult. We won in a, in in, in Wolves in ninety four ninety five. Today you get a chance, so we could score two, three, or four. The expecting goals is much much higher, but. I had to admit that today it was so demanding game for us. Really, really demanding game. Just at the front here in the cap. I, I want to ask you about Taylor Howard Bellis, someone who you worked with when he was even younger and he's still young now, but he's been really important for Southampton since he's come. What's the development you've seen in him today from the player you uh, last worked top, with? Top. I'm so happy with him because he's a lovely guy and happy that he's uh, settling in the. In the in the Premier League, and uh, it's an incredible threat for Southampton in set pieces, and and the composer where they had the ball because I think the manager in City doesn't matter how we have to play, you have to be close, you have to move different different lines, and uh, Aaron Ramsdale with the ball was magnificent today. How good they link inside, how look lateral balls. I showed many images today to the team, so in at birth I warned them. To the team, say guys, today will be. You have to be. You have to feel that you will do a right moment with things. You will not be able to take the ball, and you have to be strong in your mind to continue to continue because they are good. I'll finish with Jens for the embargo, guys. Hi, Pep. Um, a lot of Erling's goal contributions in the league this season has been directly decisive in securing the win, securing the points. Uh, we talk a lot about records and hat tricks and all this stuff, but. How much do you appreciate the fact that he also just brings the victories over the line like he like he does today? Yeah, many times happen. It's not the first time that, uh, thanks to early won the game, I would say he has scored the goals to win the game. Yeah, it was important in the beginning to start, but uh, yeah, I think the first 50, 20 minutes second half was excellent. In that moment, we, we should have killed the game. Um, I would say we were a little bit fortunate that they didn't make high pressing. They were. At the moment, they will drop a lot, and that's why when they had the ball, they struggle a little bit to arrive in the final third. But uh, but we create the chances to score a goal, so the result is fair. But just the Nazi, the game, the today Southampton the meant a lot to us, a lot. Set an embargo for 10:30 on Sunday evening. We'll start with. Dom